Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello. Good, morning. good evening. Yes, good evening. <laughs> all right. Good, good to see all of you. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to put the link there in WhatsApp. Siempre el enlace que vamos a usar siempre va a ser el mismo. Nunca va a cambiar. Pero siempre hay alguien que no lo recibió. All right. So let me put it there in WhatsApp. Okay, let's wait uh, one minute for the people that are logging in right now. Okay, let's wait one minute. Okay, let's minute. Hi, everyone. Good night. Hi. Okay, hello everybody, thank you for waiting. I'm sorry there were some people that, that had trouble logging in, all right? Very good, so, creo que todos ya, ya recibieron su enlace, su correo, acceso a la plataforma, ¿sí? Everybody? Yes, ya yeah. ingresaron a la plataforma? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Um, ¿Alguien no tiene el acceso o no tiene el enlace para la reunión o le falta algo? Ok, very good. All right, let's go to the lesson that I have for you, right? First of all, um, let's watch the video, right? So, primeramente vamos a ver el video de, de inglés corporativo. All right, uh, ¿cuántos vieron el video? The lesson for today. Uh, the lesson for today sería 1.3, right? Did you guys see the video? 1.3, right? So, todos, creo que todos ya pueden usar la plataforma, ¿verdad? Ingresan a nuestro curso, sección 1, y aquí les salen yes. todas los, las actividades. Okay? So, let's, uh, let's look at 1.3. We're going to talk about the future with going to. Let's watch the video and then we talk about it. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? 
It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are... Okay, very good. So, I'm going to do the explanation, right? Uh, si ustedes vieron el video, él da una explicación de la estructura, right? But first, I want to do, I want to do an explanation. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know, okay? So I want you to learn be going to, right? Uh, be going to is used to talk about plans in the future, right? Um, hay tres usos de be going to. Uh, the first one that we're going to learn is to talk about plans in the future, okay? So for example, right? Here's the teacher and the teacher says, El teacher dice, hello students. Today, I am going to teach you how to talk about things you are planning to do in the future. All right. ¿Cuál estructura uso? I am going to, to talk about things that I'm going to do, plans in the future. All right. So there are three ways that I can use this structure, right? So vamos a ver las tres diferentes, uh, formas diferentes. Positive, negatives, and questions. All right, so let's look at number one. Number one is I am going to celebrate my birthday. First, I need a subject, all right? I always need a subject. Then I'm going to use the verb to be. I'm going to use going to. And I'm going to use a compliment, right? For example, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Right? Estoy hablando de un plan que voy a hacer en el futuro cercano. She is going to study English. They are going to take the bus. Okay? Plans for the future. All right? So number one, positive. Number two, let's look at number two. Negative. Okay? For the negative structure is to talk about things I am not going to do, okay? For example, maybe you change your, change your mind, right? Iba a hacer algo, pero después dije, no, ya no lo voy a hacer, okay? This is another example. First, you need a subject and the verb to be with the negative. Aha. Uh -huh. Questions? Se mira, se mira oscura la pantalla. En serio. No sé por qué, porque dice you are sharing screen. No se ve nada. Ah, mis disculpas. Eh. Solo se miran los triángulos rojos. Mm, okay. Las ruedas rojas. Correcto. Solo eso. ¿Ahora? Ahora sí se ve la guía. Ah, sí se ve la guía. Sí, se ve. Sí. Ok, very good. Ok, eso es lo que quiero ver, la guía. Ok. Very good, okay. Yes. All right, so la primera que vimos en la primera estructura is positive, right? For example, yes. subject, verb to be, going to, esa frase siempre va junta, and then complement. The complement can be the plan. El plan que voy a hacer. I am going to celebrate my birthday. Another example, yes. she is going to study English. They are going to take the bus. This is plans in the future, right? Everything is positive here, right? Everything is positive, right? Quiero que recuerden el verb to be, right? Remember, right? The subject depends on the subject, right? The subject va a determinar cuál verb to be voy a usar. Am, is, or are. Okay, remember that, right? The yeah, geez, they are. Yes. Okay. Very good. Now, the other structure that I have is negative. Ya, ahorita sé todo lo que queráis que yo estoy en mudo. Okay, Claudia, micrófono, por favor. Okay, very good. Negative, negative, okay? The next structure is negative, right? This is to talk about plans that maybe I change my mind. Iba a hacer algo, pero después yo dije, ya no, ya no lo voy a hacer. 
All right, for example, I am not going to celebrate my birthday. Tal vez porque el, por la pandemia, right? COVID-19. I am not going to celebrate my birthday, right? Cambié de parecer. She is not going to study English. Right? También puedo usar la contracción, right? Isn't. She isn't going to study English. They are not going to take the bus. Or you can use contractions, right? Aren't. Right? So recuerden, el uso de contracción es opcional. English, like spoken English, right? No, normally we use contractions, right? Es bien común, es más común usar contracciones in uh, normal spoken English. All right, very good. So I want you to see something, right? The negative siempre se une con el verb to be. All right? Eh, la palabra not siempre va junto con el verb to be. All right. Number three, the third example is yes or no questions. Right? Y todo esto estaba en el video por si ustedes no lo han visto. All right. Questions, yes or no questions, right? What do I have to do? I have to change the verb to be. Ahora empiezo con el verb to be. Are you going to celebrate your birthday? Okay. Is she going to study English? Are they going to take the bus? Very good. So entonces empiezo con el verb to be. Okay. Very good. All right, questions. Preguntas? Questions? No? Entendieron? Questions? All right, very good. Let's do a practice, right? Let's use the chat. Okay? Voy a seguir proyectando acá, pero pueden usar el chat. Quiero que escriban una positiva, una negativa, una yes or no question. Okay? Escriban su mensaje juntos, las tres juntas en su mensaje. Okay? Uh, think about what are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? What are you going to do tomorrow? Okay? Positive, negative, and question. All right. Very good. So send me a chat. Put it on the chat. Very good. Le voy a dar un minuto. One minute. Okay, very good. Ya me mandaron cuatro chats. Let's see. Okay. Eh, pero me la mandaron uno por uno. No, los tres mensajes de un solo. <laughs> si no voy a recibir muchos chats. All right, very good. Uh, he is going to watch TV, Aurora. Very good. Claudia, I'm going to work. I'm not going to work tomorrow. No, Carlos, I'm going to work tomorrow. Um, Evelyn. He is going to play a game. A game? Entonces, eh, Evelyn está usando una S al final de games, el cual es plural. No puedes usar A. I am not going to work tomorrow. Very good, Carlos. Aurora, he is going to watch TV. 
He's not going to watch TV. Okay, very good. Uh, Alejandro, I'm going to visit my friend. She isn't going to go. Ahí te falta otra tú, uh, Alejandra. She isn't going to go to college. Number three, are you going to work? Very good. Very good. Vamos a leer unas cuantas más, just to check. Uh, David, I'm going to take a shower. I'm not going to wash my teeth. Eh, David, no se dice wash teeth, sino se dice brush. Brush teeth. Is she going to take a bus? Very good. Uh, Stephanie, I am going to take a taxi. Very good. Dagoberto, I'm going to work to the office tomorrow. Very good. I am not going to work to the office tomorrow. Very good. Are you going to work to your office tomorrow? Excellent. All right. Very good. Delmi, I'm going to beach. Uh, Delmi, sería, I'm going to the beach. I am going to beach. I am not going to the beach. Eh, the tiene el artículo the, es como en español decimos la playa. Eh, en inglés necesitas un artículo definitivo, the beach. Ok, tell me. Hector, uh, she is going to take the bus. She's not going to take the bus. Is she going to take the bus? Right? Recuerda hacer una pregunta, Hector, un signo de interrogación. Question mark. Clay, I'm going to work tomorrow. Uh, going to work tomorrow? Are you? Mm, okay. I am not going to work tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Are you going to work tomorrow? Very good. Una más. Esmeralda. Are you going to buy a car? Y después te falta que Esmeralda sería question mark. All right. Very good. Recuerden. Preguntas, question marks. All right. All right. Let's go to the next section. Okay, very good. So let's do a little grammar example here. Let's look at number one. ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Complete the sentence using the going to. Number one. She is going to sleep. She's going to sleep. Very good. Lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande. Okay, very good. She's going to sleep. Uh, is it, sería negative? Negative, Dagoberto, ¿cómo la cambiaría para que sería negative? She isn't going to sleep. She isn't going to sleep. Very good. Okay. Uh, let's see. Le... Brian, are you there? You can do number two. Brian, si estás ahí, puedes prender tu micrófono. Sí. I am going to eat some chips. I am going to. Right? I am going to. Recuerda que going to tiene un to al final. Going to eat some chips. ¿Y si sería negativo, Brian? I am not going to eat some chips. Excellent. Very good. Very good, Brian. Okay. Uh, let's see. Alejandra, you can do number three. My mom going to cook. No, te falta algo ahí. What do you need? Is, uh -huh. is. is my one is going to cook. Very good, very good. What about negative? My mom isn't going to cook. Excellent, very good, very good. Um, let's see. Next, next, a uh, Herman, number four. The children uh, they going to. Okay, children is plural, right? The children go to play. Entonces sería R, right? The children, because it's plural, right? No te escucho muy bien, Germán. Un poco de interferencia. Sería R, right? The children are going to play. Okay, very the good. The children are going to play. Yes, correct. In negative? Negative, Germán? The children... The children is not going to play. No, no puede ser is. The, the children is plural. No, Aren't. 
the children are not going to practice. Yes, correct. Remember, it has to be a verb to be, right? Are, because children is plural. Excellent. Uh, number one, two, three, four, five. Number five, Carlos. Are you there? Carlos Figueroa, I think, right? Okay. You are going to go home. Yes, very good. And negative? You are not going to go home. Yes, very good, Carlos. Excellent. Uh, one, two, Thank three, you. four, five, six. Number six, uh, Bere. Cat. Bere Lopez, are you there? Number six? It, uh, it is going to snow. It is going to snow. Very good. And negative? Seria, it is not going to snow. Yes, correct, correct. Very good. Uh, let's see, one more, two more. Uh, Clay? Are you there? We are going to make the bets. Yes, very good. And negative? We are not going mm -hmm. to make the bets. Excellent, very good. And finally, Hector, the last one. Uh, Seria, John is going to cry. Okay. Seria, uh, the pronunciation is cry, Hector, cry. Quiere decir llorar, right? Cry. Okay, right. And negative? John is not uh, going to cry. Excellent, good job. All right, very good. Next, we're going to have a speaking activity, okay? So for this activity, we're going to speak uh, in groups, okay? And then you're going to find out, you're going to investigate and ask and find out three things that your partner is going to do this weekend. Es decir, voy a investigar, voy, tengo que averiguar tres cosas que otra persona va a hacer este fin de semana. ¿Ok? Eh, and uh, escríbanla. All right? Y pónganle allí, for example, eh, let's say Hector. Hector dijo que él va, va a ir a la playa. Hector is going to the beach. All right? So let's find out. Let's have a short conversation. All right? Trabajemos en grupos ahí pequeños, tres o cuatro. And let's ask for this information. All right? Very good. So let's go. Let's go to groups. Recuerden, van a recibir la invitación, all right, en Zoom, para que ingresen al grupo de trabajo. All right, preguntas? Questions? All right, very good. So, es fácil, ¿verdad? La tarea. Find out three things someone else is going to do this weekend. O qué va a hacer cada uno y lo anotamos. Este, Ryan, ¿tú qué vas a hacer durante la semana? No, en inglés. Ask him. En inglés. Ok, ¿qué vas a hacer este weekend? Mm -hmm. I am going to do this weekend. Okay. I am going to do anything this weekend. Ok. I am not. You have to use a negative. Ok. I am not going to do anything this weekend. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Eh, uh -huh. Ahora supongo que pregunto yo. Clay. What are you doing? No, what are you going to this weekend? What are you going to do? Okay, I am. To do, sí. To do this weekend. Mm -hmm. I am going. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice? Voy a ir a la iglesia. A church. 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 I am going church weekend. No, I am going to. Church. I am going to church weekend. No, te falta un verbo. I am going to es la estructura que acabamos de aprender. Después tenés que agregarle el verbo. I am going to, to go. 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 Uh -huh. I am go okay. I am go. I am going to go church weekend. I am going to go to church this weekend. To church. Okay. Church. Uh -huh. Correct. Okay. All right. So that's one thing. What else? Something sí, else. Falta Carlos. No sé, sí. Le ok, son tres cosas. Tienen que averiguar tres cosas. No ah, solo una. Tres three. cosas. Three, three, three. Sí, ¿No tienen sí. la guía allí? Sí. All right. <coughs> eh, pero le voy a preguntar primero a Carlos porque no ha participado. Así que, Carlos, what are you going to do this weekend? Eh, allá. Hola. Hello, Oscar. Hola, hola. Right. Come on, speaking. Do you understand what you're doing? What are, what are you going to do this weekend? What are you going to do? I am going to watch movies and eat ice cream. Very good. So that I start one, I, I, dos cosas, right? She gave us two things. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do this weekend? I am going to, pardon, I am going to swimming a pool. Okay. I am going to swim in the pool. But I swim in a pool. Very good. What are you going to do? It's a weekend. I am going to sleep. Okay, that's one thing. You're going to sleep. That's one thing. Okay. okay. Come on, more. What are you going to do this weekend? I am going to visit my uncle. Ahora le pregunto a Aurora otra vez. What mm -hmm. are you going to, to do this? Perdón. What are you going to do this weekend? Mm -hmm. I am going to go home to study English. I am going to walk in the park. I am going to sleep too. Good, very good. All right, so you have to find three things. Three things. Okay, ya averiguaron tres? Tres cosas de otra persona? Yes, yes. yes. Por ejemplo, Eunice dijo que she's going to visit my uncle. Mm -hmm. she's no, she's going, going to visit. No sería, tú dijiste my uncle. No es tu tío, oh, sino no. tu tío de ella. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she's going to visit. Uh, your uncle. No, her. No, uncle. Her, no he is. <laughs> he is varón. Her uncle. Her, her, right? her uncle. El tío le pertenece a ella. Her I'm uncle. going to visit her uncle. Mm -hmm. uh, she is going in, to write a video. Mm -hmm. And she is going to sleep. All right. Very good. OK. Recuerden, cuando están ahora hablando de otra persona, tienen que cambiar los sujetos, ¿verdad? All right, 
Very good. All right, yo vamos a regresar, so give us a second. Okay, very good. Welcome, welcome back. All right. Averiguaron tres cosas? Yes? Very good. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Now, uh, remember, right, when you say going to, normally, if it's going to be an action, after going to, you're going to have a verb. Es decir, después de la frase going to, tengo que después poner un verbo. I am going to cook. I am going to walk in the park. I am going to take my dog out. I am going to eat lunch. Siempre hay un verbo después de going to, right? Right? So... Un verbo normal, ¿verdad? Un verbo base. All right, very good. Question. Okay, este, uh -huh. Sí, yo le dije, yo dije que iba a ir al mercado, entonces debí de haber dicho, I'm going to go to the market. Yes, that's correct. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go to the market. I'm going to go visit my family. To uh -huh. go, um... Después de going to, si estamos hablando de acción, ¿verdad? Hay un verbo. Y sería to go to visit. O solamente. I am, I am going to go visit uh -huh. my family. Visit. Uh -huh. Ok. So okay. Después de going to verb. Tiene que, tiene que ir un verbo. Ya, yeah, bien. Verbo. Yeah. Very good. Ok, excellent. Uh, otra cosa, remember, if I ask you, for example, ¿qué dijo tal persona? Right? For example, uh, let's say, uh, Brian, for example, right? Brian, uh, ¿con quién hablaste? Who was it? Um, was... Clay y Carlos Figueroa. Okay. Do you remember what Carlos is going to do in the weekend? <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> what about Clay? Do you remember what Clay is going to do in the weekend? <laughs> Tampoco. Ah, se te olvidó lo que dijeron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's say, okay, very good. Let's say. Uh, le pregunta a ellos, ellos sí se no, no, porque quiero que tú reportes lo que ellos dijeron. <laughs> es, es, es diferente. Porque ahí tenés que usar uh -huh. sujetos diferentes. All right, very good. Let's say. Eh, eh, ¿Quién más está? Eh, David. David Ernesto. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Oh. Okay. Who did you speak to, David? Okay. Can you repeat? Who, um, did, who did you speak to? With Gerardo and Esmeralda. Okay. What is Gerardo going to do this weekend? He's going to watch movie. Very good, ¿verdad? Ahí cambió los sujetos, ¿verdad? Porque él tiene que hablar de otra persona. Okay, very good. Ajá. Uh -huh. Who else? After he is going to study in the platform. Okay. And All right. One he more. Is going in Esmeralda. Mm -hmm. She is going to watch TV. She is going to eat pizza. And she is going to play soccer. 
Very good. So remember, estoy hablando de otra persona. Tengo que cambiar el sujeto, right? She. In a, he or she. All right. Very good. Excellent. Uh, let's go back to the guide. All right. Pueden ver la guía. Sí. Can you see the guide? Yes. All right. Very good. So, aquí yes. tiene, tengo el President Biden. All right. Look, the United States have sworn their 46th president. All right. ¿Se acuerdan la TH Four que ayer six. aprendimos? 46. 46. Yes. Very Four good. Six. Right. 46. So, Joe Biden is the 46th president. Okay. This is the That's question. Me. What do you think he's going to do during his first 100 days in office? Pueden meterse en la internet si quieren. Pueden investigar. O pueden dar simplemente su opinión. What do you think he's going to do? Use be going to. Okay. Use be going to. So, quiero que me digan. He's going to. Y que creen que va a ser él. All right. What do you think he's going to do? He. But, but wait, wait. This is going to be a group activity. Going. Don't in group. Okay. You guys are going to do. Give me, give me a couple of uh, things, right? They make no solo una cosa. El va a ser bastantes cosas. Right? He's going to. He's going to. Exactly, right? Eh, los primeros 100 días es, no sé, algo como muy importante en Estados Unidos, ¿verdad? Para evaluar el, el presidente, right? Los primeros 100 días. So, the first 100 days, what do you think he's going to do, all right? So, we're going to work in groups. Eh, you're going to discuss. You can investigate. Mm -hmm. And you can write down some ideas, all right? So, we're going to use the structure, going to, to talk about future plans. All right? Preguntas, questions? Lo que vamos a hacer? Questions? No questions. All right. So, traten de eh, dar bastantes opiniones, right? What do you think he's going to do? All right. You can investigate. You can use the internet. You can do, write down. The, the thing is that you practice the structure. Okay? Very good. Let's go. Going to you don't, don't tell me. Do it in, in your group. <laughs> All right. So, I'm going to go ahead. And, let me see. We're going to do groups of four. All right, let's go to groups. Right. Dijo el candidato por el Partido Demócrata. English, please. Ah, English. English, come on. Uh, estoy en investigación. This is English class. Um, the presi president, no. Escucharon. Ah, este, regular la migración. English, what do you think he's going to do? Give your opinion. Ah. Eh, todavía lo estamos viendo como, como lo decimos porque es vocabulario que no tenemos. Hey, look, look in the, look in the internet. Look in Google. Cualquier artículo de noticia ahí, and then just copy that. He is going to. What do you think he's going to do? Investigate. Look for Google. Look at some articles. Look at uh, some news. CNN, Fox News. Search. Okay. 
Right. Y aquí en la sala, aquí en la sala no, ten, no tenemos eh, chat, ¿no? ¿Verdad? Eh, sí, se pueden comunicar creo que entre ustedes, pero I'm not sure, I'm not sure, 100%. Eh, cada uno encuentre una cosa, That's ¿qué sure. va a hacer? Cada uno opine Ma una cosa. Okay. He's going to suspend, suspend the deportations. Ah, very important, very good, very good. Very good. Right? So, si investigan ahí en the internet, you're going to find a lot of things. A lot of things he's going to do. Sí. Mm -hmm. He's going to minimum, minimum base ingress, ingreso, mm. como aumento al, al salario mínimo. Ah, he's going to increase increase Salary. Yes. Look, uh, use ah, the internet. Salary, or solo salary. He's going to increase the salary in the United States. Mm -hmm. Hay otra palabra, pero quiero que ustedes la investiguen. En Estados Unidos no se le dice salario, se le dice otra palabra. <laughs> but investigate. Look, ahí está Google. All the information in the world is right there for you to look. Use it. And use going to. Se escribe deportations. Pero deportation. No sé. Creo que es deportations, pero no estoy segura. Sí. Ah, pero aquí está el teacher que nos corrija. Okay. <laughs> Yo creo que es. What did you investigate? Estamos viendo eh, acá y hemos concluido en que en los primeros 100 días, pues, uh -huh. not going to the deportations, pero no sabemos si así sería la respuesta correcta. Mm, he's going to, he's going to what? Va a ser una acción. He's not, he's not, he's not going ah. to the deportation. He's not mm. going to the deportation. Okay, ahí están usando el negative, right? He's not going to. Uh -huh. Okay. Eh, usen el verbo stop. Stop. Right? Stop. Él va a parar algo. Él va a parar ah, okay. cierta acción. He is not going to the start the protection. No, entonces sería como Trump. <ríe> Él va a ser lo opuesto de Trump. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tú me dijiste, he's not going to stop. Es decir, que él va a continuar deportando. No. ¿Verdad? No. Ah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sería entonces stop he's going to the stop, stop deportation. He's going to stop deportation. Okay. Ahí está. He's going to stop deportation. He's going to a stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, sí. Right. Very good, very good. That's one thing, one thing, okay? Find out more. Look for more information, all right? We have five no, minutes. No puede quedarse, no puede quedarse sin el verbo stop. Mm. Solo he is going to the protection. No, no, necesita un verbo. ¿Te acordás lo que dije eh, en la sesión? You need a verb. Sí, sí, sí. Es, Después... que, es que considerábamos de deportar como verbo. Pero, sí, sí, pero entonces no es deportation, es deport. Deport. Ah, cambia entonces. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, very good. So, Look for another one. He's going to the store deportation. Ahí está. Very good. That's number one. Look for another one. Um, Investigate. Cucu. Asilo trascendental. Pero ahí lo tenemos que pasar al inglés. Mm -hmm. Solo esto lo encuentro yo al, al, al artículo. Ok, muy bien. English, practice English. ¿Qué va a hacer? ¿Qué va a hacer el presidente Joe Biden? Va a ayudar a inmigrantes. Ok, muy bien. Va a ayudar a inmigrantes. Okay. He's, he's going to oh. war. Okay. He's going to war with COVID. He's going to what, uh, David? 
He's going to good work with colleagues. He's going to good work. Ajá. Uh -huh. With colleagues. Mm, te falta un verbo. Acordate que dije que después de going to, tiene que ir un verbo base. Going to. Uh, he's going work. to. Work. He's going to work. Going to work with COVID. Él va a trabajar con COVID. <laughs> no, no. He's going to work. Él va a trabajar good. He's going to work good with COVID. Él va a trabajar bien con el COVID. Yeah. <laughs> va a trabajar mano a mano con el COVID. <laughs> <laughs> change it, change it. Okay, look, investigate. Go to Google. Ya fueron a Google? Look for some articles, look for some information. Sí, sí tenemos la información, pero lo que falta es eh, cómo pasarla al inglés, profe, porque Okay, por ejemplo, una... va... Okay, Ajá, pero ¿por qué no... la buscaron? ¿Por qué la buscaron en español? <laughs> Use the internet but in English. Use the internet in English. Solo vean los titulares. Just look for the headlines. But don't translate. Lo, lo, lo que pasa es que tienen Google en español. <laughs> tienen que buscar ya en Google en inglés. To look for English information. Okay. <laughs> very good, very good. So, y el que el compañero dijo se puede decir he's going to work again. Yes, I see. Ahí sí. Ahí sí. He's going to work against COVID. Yeah. Ahí tiene sentido, ¿verdad? Right? Que va a combatir. No, no se usaría de, o sea, de como el artículo. No, no. Solo no. COVID. Ajá. También puedes usar otra palabra en inglés que sería fight. He's going to fight against COVID. Uh -huh. Fight. Mm -hmm. Fight is luchar en contra. Fight uh, against. ¿Y cómo se escribe? F I G H T. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Right, very good. El otro que tiene que conocer es el, el TPS. Okay, what is uh, the president going to do? What is Joe Biden going to do? What do you have? Uh, he's going to help me immigrant. Very good. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, he's going to use a mascara. Uh, a mask. Or it? Mask. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's going mm -hmm. to use mask. Uh, what else? What else is he, is he going to do? What are other actions? Uh, he's going to take take care medio ambiente. Uh, How do you say medio ambiente? No sé medio ambiente. Uh, you can say uh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh man, I forgot uh, environment. I'm sorry, I forgot <laughs> environment. Um, environment. Okay. Environment. So very good. So right there, Carlos, he's going to take care of the environment. Of, of, Esmeralda, Evelyn, uh, do you have some ideas? What is, did you investigate? He, okay, he going to back. Back is okay. volver. Okay, can you repeat? Remember to use going to. Back to the Paris Agreement, volver al Acuerdo Paris. Yes, very good. Okay, so only remember to use going to. Ah, uh, el otro, he going to. No, he going to, no, ahí te falta algo. He going to, ¿qué te falta? He is. He is. Te falta he, el verb to be. Okay. Uh -huh. He's <laughs> going to. Este. A reforma, ay, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Eh, a la reformar la justicia criminal, reforma, reforma criminal. criminal justice. 
reform, reform criminal justice. Mm -hmm. So he's going to reform criminal justice. Okay. Criminal justice. Very good, very good. Uh, see, look for information in Google, right? If you find the information there in Google, solo copiar el titular. He's going to, and then copy that. Evelyn, did you find anything? Evelyn? Está ahí? Creo que no. Okay. Carlos, did you find another one? Um, no, no. Okay, solo tres. Did you find three? Yes, three. Y, y esta, ¿cómo se llama? Paquetes de, de reforma migratoria. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Eh, usa la palabra que ya aprendiste, es reform. He's going to. Reform. Reform. Migratory. <laughs> no. Right? Law. Immigration law. Okay. Sería okay. he is going Esmeralda. to. Ahí está. Quiero que lo repite desde el inicio porque quiero ver si eso está usando going to correctamente. Repeat. He, What is he going to he, do? He is going. He's going to reform migration. Yes, there you go. Yeah. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. He's going to. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Very good, everybody. And let me ask you, we have five minutes. Okay. Let me ask you, what is the president Joe Biden going to do? What is he going to do? He's uh, going to reserve, reverse reverse? money of the mm -hmm. money of the policies, policies adapting the, the process predecessor. All right, está leyendo CNN. Very good, right? But... Así como que va a revertir muchas de las políticas adoptadas por su predecesor. Gracias, pero I want it in English. <laughs> no, very good, Claudia. He's going to, and then, necesitamos un verbo, right? He's going to reverse. Ahí está el verbo, reverse. He's going to reverse. Okay, very good. What else? What else is, is he going to do? He is going to stop deportations. Ahí está. He's going to stop deportation. Ahí está el verbo stop. Very good. Eh, la frase que aprendimos ahora, going to. He, what else? He's going to. Uh -huh. Ajá. He, he is going to take measures to combat the pandemic. Excellent. He's going to take measures to combat the pandemic. What else is uh, President Joe Biden going to do in the 100 days? He's going to help immigrants. Very good, David. He's going to help immigrants. Right? Ahí está el verbo, help. He, he's, he's going, going to... Herman? Herman, and then he's going to demand test COVID-19. The dismantle. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's going to this demo. This demo. ¿Cuál es el verbo ahí? Demo. Economic. Exigir. Ah, demand. He's going to demand. 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 Economic. He's going to demand test COVID. Economic. Ah, he's going to demand a COVID test. Mm -hmm. COVID test. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's true. Right. He's going to increase the minimum wage. He's going to increase the minimum wage. El salario mínimo. So he said minimum wage. He's going to increase minimum wage. Okay. What else? What else is the President Biden going to do? He's going to implement a law against racism. A racism. Very good. He's going to implement a law against racism. Excellent. Very good. So, este es un ejemplo, ¿verdad? Quería poder tomar la estructura, aplicarlo a la vida real. Okay. Uh, my recommendation to you is that when you look for information, put it in English, in Google. Right? 
para que le salga, <laughs> le salga información en inglés. En inglés. Right? Right? No voy a estar ahí. Okay. ¿Qué va a hacer el presidente? Oh. Y después tratar de traducir eso al, al inglés. No, 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 no. English. What is, así pongan la pregunta en Google. What is Joe Biden going to do? Y le va a salir ahí la respuesta. En vez de, ¿qué va a hacer el presidente Joe Biden? Y después traducir eso en español, en, eh, perdón, en inglés. No, ahí están trabajando al revés. Right? In English, just use Google. Use Google in English, right? Porque ya tienen una herramienta en inglés. Pues úsenla, úsenla en Google. Right? Use it in Google, in English. Okay, very good. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is a very quick lesson, okay? I, I want you to know something in English. We don't say normally spoken English, right? Cuando yo digo spoken English es eh, el inglés cotidiano, right? Spoken English. We don't say going to. Usually we say gonna. Gonna. Right. No. This no. is called sound reduction, right? This is called sound reductions in English, right? Normally, people, they don't say going to. They say gonna. Especialmente gente que vive allá, right? People that speak English. Um, so let's use gonna. En vez de usar going to, we're going to use gonna. Are you going to study? Sería. Are you going to study? Do you see the difference? Notan la diferencia? Are you going to study English? Are you going to study English? It's different, right? Y esta era la lección del 1.6. Right? Using... No, esto, es solo, esto es solo para pronunciación. Pronunciation, correct. Um, sí, sigo escribiendo igual. Se escribe igual. Uh -huh, correct. Se escribe igual. But for pronunciation, for, for spoken English, right? Normally, people say gonna. Are you going to wear a mask? Are you gonna wear a mask? Right? Suena hasta más rápido, ¿eh? más fluido. Uh, is he going to take the bus? Is he gonna take the bus? Is he going to take the bus? Mm -hmm. Very good. Are they, uh, where, the number four? Are they going to the, go to the party? Are they going, going, Are they going to go to the party? Are they going to go to the party? Are they going to go to the party? Do you see? There's a difference, right? So I want you to understand gonna, right? Por si alguien te habla así, por si escuchan eso, right? Then you understand. Están usando going to. But usually it's normal, right? One more time, let's practice. Are you going to study English? Seria? Are you going to study English? Are you going to study English? Eh, lo estoy poniendo en mute algunos para que no, no escuchemos mucho, mucho ruido afuera. Are you going to wear a mask? Seria? Are you going to wear a mask? Are you going to wear a mask? Okay. Are you going to wear a mask? Is he going to take the bus? Seria? Is he going to take the bus? Is he going to, is he going to take the bus? Mm -hmm. Are they going to go to the party? The Seria, are they going to go to the party? Are they going, are they going to go to the party? Okay, very good. All right. Uh, Questions? Uh, Teacher, entonces el gonna solo hace para la pronunciación, no para escribir. Yes, correct. No sería lo, escrito. Correct, correct. Es lo que preguntó okay. Lago. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, okay. The same. If writing, tienen que escribirlo así. Okay. Porque uh -huh. writing, esto no existe. Okay. En ah, okay. in, in writing. But speaking, sí, la gente Speak. suena así. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Especial gente, especialmente gente nativa, ¿verdad? They sound like this. All right, very good. Questions? <coughs> Questions? No questions. No questions. Okay, very good. So today we learned going to, ¿verdad? Eh, in positive, negatives, and questions. Question. Going to. Eh, lo usamos para hablar de planes. Plans. 
Okay. All right. Excellent. Very good. I'll see you tomorrow then. Have a good day. I'm sorry. Have a good night. <laughs> All right. Good night. We are going to sleep now. All right. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher.